Welcome everyone from uh, inside the stadium here in, uh, in Greece, in the Greek capital. We are in the uh, home stadium of Olympiakos, the great, one of the great Greek clubs. And we're just really a short distance away from the, the port of Piraeus, which is the port of Athens. That's where we're situated. And uh, the sun has set now here after a very warm, sunny day. It is a very hot evening, I must say. And the scene is set before us for the UEFA Super Cup match. And most fittingly, as the two teams came out, Kyle Walker, the Manchester City captain, had the European Cup in his hands, the Champions League trophy. He walked out with that and placed it on a perspex plinth before the Manchester City players lined up. And on the other side, Jesus Navas, the former Manchester City man, who is a, a legendary figure at Sevilla, having started his career and he's ending his career there, 37 years old. He carried out the UEFA Cup, what is now the Europa League trophy, and did likewise, placed it on the plinth. plinth. He, he almost caressed it, I noticed, and he made sure it looked absolutely right before he went off. And now the two of them, Kyle Walker and Jesus Navas, are shaking hands over the halfway line. The uh, officials are from France, Francois Letessier, and uh, Manchester City are getting themselves ready to see if they can add another trophy to their 2023 haul. The players in the sky blue shirts, white shorts and blue socks just going around one another. This is the first time that Manchester City are appearing in this match, the UEFA Super Cup. And it is, of course, one of the trappings of the success of last season. Whereas the record winners of the Europa League competition, Sevilla, are on the other side of the pitch, all in red. Manchester City's team tonight, Edison in goal, Walker Akanji, Gvardiol making his first start, and Ake, then Rodri with Foden and Kovacic in the absence of the injured De Bruyne. Cole Palmer starts this one, Jack Grealish and Erling Haaland, and the Sevilla team, Bono in goal, although it seems he's going to be off to Saudi Arabia. Jesus Navas at right back, Bade, Goodell and Acuna, the back four. Uh, in midfield, Juan Jordan and Ivan Rakitic with Oliver Torres and Lucas Acampes, Eric Lamella and Yusuf and Nasiri are uh, the front players for Sevilla. Now before we start, players are gathered around the centre circle for a moment of silence. Disrespectful people shouting out during the course of that, but um, I think, uh, the people near them managed to silence them, and uh, we're ready for the start. Don Hutchison is here with us inside the stadium. Scotland international Premier League player. Quick word, Don, on uh, what lies ahead. Do you think? Well, what lies ahead is a very, very stubborn, severe side. Um, I was working on the game when they beat Euro uh, Roma in the Europa League final. It lasted 146 <laughs> minutes, 13 yellow cards along the way. So there will be stubborn opposition, but this is a very, very strong Man City team. Yeah, it all this is, isn't it? Whatever competition Pep Guardiola sends his team out for. So off we go. Manchester City kick off. And the ball immediately played from the centre spot by Phil Foden back towards goalkeeper Edison and Manchester City. As we look from our position here, we're on the dressing room side of the ground, the dugout side of the ground. Manchester City are playing from right to left. And I notice right at the start of the match, the Sevilla supporters have let off a red flare in amongst their supporters. There are, there are many of them. The 10,000 allocation for Manchester City and us Sevilla supporters are terrific. They are, they are some of the best supporters in terms of the noise and the atmosphere that they create. So hopefully we will have an atmosphere as a backdrop to this game. Manchester City immediately winning a free kick for a foul on Cole Palmer on the right. John. Well, just a small note, Vardial's playing at left-back. I thought he might have played as a centre-back and Nathan Ake would have been at left-back. So a small note on that position. We talked about the versatility of Vardial. 
he's now a left back in a flat back four. Yeah, he, uh, you know, as he was coming through, he did play as a left back, but I mean, very much seen as a central defender. That's where he's, that's where he's carved out this brilliant reputation. Guardiola, 77 million pounds, Manchester City paid for him, and uh, at 21 years old, Josko Guardiola, it feels like he's got the world at his feet, and uh, Akanji's got the ball at his feet. But he's lost possession, and it's taken on by En Naziri, who shoots as he falls from outside of the penalty area. Eric Lamella, actually, it was on the edge of the box, falling over the former Tottenham man, but dragging his shot well wide for a goal kick. Yeah, well, that was case in point of Marwin Akanji stepping in into that little midfield alongside Rodri. He got given a ball under pressure, and he couldn't really deal with it. It's interesting that, obviously, Rodri's dropping a little bit deeper, and the two players that are going to be closest to Erlen Haaland is going to be Phil Foden and potentially... Kovacic but on Lamella's left foot maybe would have been more of a chance not on his right so here is Guardiola then starting as left back this is 5 Live BBC Sounds BBC Radio Manchester listeners join us as well so welcome to you inside the stadium here in Athens or Athens Piraeus as it is being billed on the uh, on the hoardings as Cole Palmer starting for Manchester City in this match the 21 year old he did have uh, injury problems last season, just the seven starts. But uh, he's playing out on the right-hand side. And as Don Hutchison has said, Phil Foden playing in a in a more central role. So it looks as though he has been given Oof, the, as the ball is played back. And actually, that might have been a foul, you know. Uh, he was a lucky man. He was a lucky man, Akanji. He was short with a pass. Yeah, again, a little shaky start from him. And here comes a Campos down the right-hand side, the talented right winger Campos playing the ball back behind him to Jordan who's come in we would have expected Fernando the old stager the former Manchester City midfielder to be playing for Sevilla but he's been unwell just like Bernardo Silva that's the word on Bernardo Silva the reason that he's not here because of illness and actually Pep Guardiola was um, was not involved in training last night even though he spoke to us in the stadium and uh, the reason for that was that Pep Guardiola wasn't feeling very well Kovic has just given it away a compass with a pass he was looking for end the on the edge of the box but Akanji came across and was able to head it down and it's been cleared away to the halfway line to uh, to Goodell Nemanja Goodell the Serbian international who slips it forward to the central area to Jordan and then it comes back to Goodell who finds the pass to the right hand side here is Jesus Navas 37 years old back in the Spanish squad again last season long ball forward towards a campus but the offside flag is up and it's a free kick to Manchester City. that's the danger that's the danger when Sevilla go forward they've got players like En Naziria who's very very good the Moroccan and Lucas Acampos on the right hand side very quick and very direct yeah En Naziri who's got big bandages on his forearms and on his wrists tall man Moroccan World Cup man just like his goalkeeper Bono the age of 32 you know when we when the word went round that he was going to be heading off to Saudi Arabia we weren't expecting Bono to be playing in this match but Damn, here he is it's a strange one in terms of a manager picking him it might be a farewell game but how does the goalkeeper feel if he's got to go into a 50-50 tackle knowing he's got to move to Saudi mm -hmm. around the corner so nil nil Manchester City nil Sevilla nil here's Grealish involved in the action for the first time but Jesus Navas is able to keep pace with him get there first and pop it out of play down below us many of the Sevilla supporters are just in front of us and notice one down there in a very Spanish style is fanning herself with a floral fan and I think that's where the, uh, the, the wives and girlfriends and families of the Sevilla players are just down in front of us actually here's Guardiola then with the throwing level with the edge of the penalty area still waits, still waits then takes the throw Foden with a flick into the area looking for Haaland but Haaland trying to lay it back to Foden just gave it away straight to Rakitic another of the old stages in this Sevilla side and now he has a Campos down the right hand side uh, Oliver Torres is on the right flank Oliver Torres comes in field he's on, still on his right foot in fact he's all right foot and then uh, turns up against Grealish Torres dark haired herring in field Haaland arrives so he has to tap it back into the central defenders but uh, the Sevilla have had the best start to the game from the minutes gone they're very very comfortable as you'd expect Rakitic is pulling the strings in midfield with his diagonal passes and here's Jesus now that's early cross for him and Naziri with a header bounces down and Campos was in there as well headed forward by Lamella and Naziri with another chance but got right underneath it and as a result just sort of headed it up in the air and Edison was able to scamper out of his six yard box and catch it well I'll tell you what if you get given that chance again if you're in Naziri you could actually have took that ball down in a busy 18 yard box rather than going for it first time 
Uh, Grealish now coming forward just down in front of us. Then Foden out to the right hand side. Here is called Palmer. Palmer thought about his shot. Turns again back onto his left foot. Might open up for him. Does shoot, but Bono goes down. The goalkeeper tells Sevilla and is able to drop on it quite comfortably. Oh, good work there from Cole Palmer, and especially Carl Walker behind him who offered the overlap and he ignored him. Cut inside on his left foot. Striking the ball through traffic, so an early sighter for Cole Palmer. So it is nil-nil in this UEFA Super Cup match, the traditional match that uh, was first played 50 years ago, back in 1973, and has now developed and... It involves the winners of the Champions League and the winners of the Europa League, which Sevilla won last season for a record seventh time that competition in its various forms. Ball played forward by Kovacic. Here's Haaland inside the penalty area up against Bade, but there was support there as well from Jesus Navas, who came across and just stabbed it out of play for the first corner of the match to City. Yeah, Bade done well because he thought potentially that Erlen Haaland was going to take the shot on the angle and he more or less said to him go on you can take the shot if you like because you're not going to score from that angle so he forced Haaland to try a trick which didn't come off Haaland fresh from his two goals against Burnley corner is taken short by Foden and Grealish then back to Palmer left footed ball into the back post oh. and Ake with a header and it's clawed away by Bono threw himself at it head first in amongst the crowd of players Bono made the save in it comes again that's headed away out to the edge of the area Palmer nice touch there Miller lovely touch as well but Enneziri is able to put in the challenge tackle. and then Rodri great tackle Enneziri sliding in on what him. a tackle old school from Enneziri going all in there green light on the 50-50 but that was a chance you know and I think Nathan Ake should have scored yeah it, uh, he's stretching for it but I mean good chance edge of the six yard box so uh, still nil-nil but uh I can tell, Don, you enjoyed that end this year, Rich. Oh, I mean, he's, uh, he, he is very tall, isn't he? Lanky. And uh, he threw himself into the path of the marauding Rodri. Score, uh, coming onto that, not far away from where he scored the winning goal in Istanbul in the Champions League final. There's nothing like on a greasy surface when you go all in on a red light on a 50-50 and you win it. Well, it's, uh, it feels quite... I mean, it's sweltering here tonight, sitting in the box. Temperature must have been well over 30 in Athens today. And there are some very red faces, I notice, in the stands. Manchester City fans in the main on the, on the far side of the stadium from us, but hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of sky blue shirts. As uh, the ball is back with Edison. Now he has a kanji after the couple of awkward moments that he's had in the game so far then across to Ake who had that big chance to score with the header and then back to Edison again Ortega is on the bench long ball from Edison looking for one of those passes downfield it was Kovacic actually who was racing onto it but it bounces through to Bono yeah it's not really a night I mean Edison is famed for that sort of 50-60 yard pass but it's not really a night to try and give the ball away because Mendilibar's men have started well in the game well respected coach Mendilla Bar, 15 jobs across Spain. Nearly a thousand matches as a manager. You know, seen for decades, really, as a manager who would work well on a small budget, keep teams in La Liga. And when, when Sevilla needed someone, when San Paoli was sacked in March, they were struggling, they were up against relegation, they chose him, the 62 year old, to see if he could keep them in the uh, La Liga which they did comfortably with an excellent run of results and also went storming through the knockout stages of the Europa League having been knocked out of the Champions League by, by Manchester City in that group and of course beat Manchester United on the way having been 2-0 down at Old Trafford and then as Don was saying winning against Mourinho's Roma oh Jose tried all the tricks in the final yeah, didn't he just, didn't that, he was just. A, that was a horrible game to watch oh, 146 it? minutes yeah, it was, <laughs> it was a torture <laughs> Uh, what was it, 14 yellow cards and uh, Sevilla with a ball in, the, in their own right back position but Manchester City have nicked it back here is Guardia, uh, Guardiol the bearded Guardiol starting at left back if you've just joined us thought it would be in central defence with Ake at left back but not so here is Grealish playing it in field Akanji allows it to run to Rodri lovely one touch then taps it away square to Walker now to the right hand side Palmer Palmer up against Acuna and then goes back to Walker who lifts one into the back post but too close to Bono who comes and punches it Ooh. and they came out to Guardiol 
best part of 25 yards out, sat up for him nicely, so he went for goal with a volley, but he uh, hit it over and high by probably five or six yards. Yeah, it's been a feature of Man City's game, I think, over the last 18 months, probably especially because Erlen Haaland's in the team, but they don't mind putting crosses in the box. The goalkeeper, Bono, not really convincing, punching it the Vardy all, but it was on his weaker right foot, so he had to take the shots on because it was an open goal, but it was a tough ask, it was a high tariff effort finish. So still Manchester City nil, Sevilla nil, and five live Radio Manchester and on BBC Sounds. And uh, our engineer Phil reckons it's 27 degrees in here at the moment, but it is. We are two hours ahead of the UK, so it's 10:15 in the evening. But apparently it hit 35 earlier today, which, which uh, feels felt about right, didn't it? Uh, Guardiola is there, all in black on the edge of the coaching area. And City with a throw on the halfway line. Well, it felt right in terms of the heat until you took us to an Italian, John, and ordered arabiata, spicy, yep. in this heat. I think that was a bad decision. Bad mistake, was it? Mm-hmm. Normally, I get the culinary side spot on. It was good, but it didn't work in the heat. <laughs> Campos just uh, wins a throw in on the halfway line. And uh, it is a throw in that Jesus Navas will take uh, just to um, tip you off by the way there would be no extra time tonight UEFA announced last week that, uh, that this match if it is a draw after the 90 minutes plus it will then go to penalties throw in for Manchester City again Guardiol back to Akanji Guardiol has to just stretch with it and steer it all the way back to Edison looks a Man City player already doesn't he Guardiol very comfortable on the ball yeah, I, I know very well. A couple of uh, reporters I know in Croatia have been telling me for some time that he would he would go for very very big money and uh, and have a great career. So let's see how things develop there. Both Diaz and Stones, by the way, have been on the bench. They they've had little injury worries, but they're back. And Laporte as well, who it seems might well be heading for Saudi Arabia, but he is named among the substitutes for Manchester City as they go back through Akanji all the way back to Edison. In Manchester City now things have settled down they've had a couple of chances we've had 13 minutes of play but it is nil-nil and in this heat I think this could be really the, the way that things go and uh, when they can they're going to conserve energy and just knock it around at walking play- pace it's interesting Rodri's position obviously he's standing in the centre of midfield but Kovacic and Phil Foden are playing uh, quite a way ahead of him yeah it's like that uh, that line of four isn't it that Manchester City sometimes plays with a one sitter and then four men behind Haaland here's a Campos who runs away and flicks the ball back to Jesus Navas all the way back to Bade who was sent off in the defeat against Valencia in La Liga their opening match in the league on Friday night and now out to the left hand side to the Argentine World Cup winner Marcos Acuna uh, and then back into central midfield to Jordan and Sevilla go back into the middle of their own half the man who scored the winning penalty uh, remarkably the uh, the other Argentine World Cup fullback Gonzalo Montiel is among the substitutes tonight after his amazing season he'll never have anything like that in his career again to score the winning penalty in the shootout in the World Cup final and then the winning penalty in the shootout in the Europa League final and also when it was retaken the final penalty in the Europa League final because the goalkeeper was off his line and he hit the bar but scored second time round you could you almost you couldn't right? make that up it is uh, Sevilla the ball at the back here is Bade Bade now to the, to the right hand side to Jesus Navas who just steps across to the left hand side and then goes back into central defence they are missing one or two particularly at the back actually defenders I mentioned Fernando from midfield but Marcao and Nianzu are out injured as a long ball comes forward for Sevilla but uh, even though Ake got to it the flag goes up against Nemeziri and it's a free kick for Manchester City they're quite, they're quite fluid Sevilla in their system where Oliver Torres sort of does a lot of work on the right hand side but he's making his move quite centrally towards Nemeziri and also Lucas Acampos is doing the same thing so they're not really static in their positions in possession they're very interesting to watch still nil nil. Manchester City coming forward with Rodri who plays it through the middle a stretch by Kovacic sets a ball off for Haaland to chase but he couldn't get there here's us Navas was there again and was able to make contact and touch it back to his goalkeeper who cleared towards the halfway line oh, that was all about the experience for Jesus Navas at 37 he realised as soon as Kovacic got in between the lines the one ball he was going to play 
was right down the side for Erlen Haaland to run onto and Navas read it. Here's just Navas, who we saw often, didn't we, as a right winger for Manchester City or wing back, but uh, as well as his four years with Manchester City, this is his, now his club record for Sevilla, 656 appearance for Sevilla alone. Here's Akanji just wandering forward with the ball to the halfway line then Rodri to his left to Kovacic and to his left here to Grealish who's got a little bit of space as Hazel Navas comes across Grealish now goes inside the Campos cuts the shot and Bono rather laboured save actually I thought he was going to go down too early there but was able to get his fingertips to it and push it away to his left for a corner no the passing is very good Kovacic took one touch on the back foot played it to Jack Grealish he then dropped inside goalkeeper made an absolute meal of it it's not really heading towards the top right hand corner of the stanchion it's a save that he should make but he makes it look good Bono so it's a corner to Manchester City on the far side of the stadium still nil nil and the first 16 minutes have been played so Grealish is going to take this he's got the option of Foden short if he wants but I think he's going to deliver it Grealish with the outswinger and it is Rodri who got there but could only head it across the penalty area and Sevilla were able to, to clear it away back to the halfway line where Kyle Walker is there I, I'm like you Don with Kyle Walker you know that talk of him going to Bayern Munich it, it feels like even at 33 years old now 33 at the end of last season it still feels that he's a very very important player for Manchester City well he's irreplaceable and I think I think that's why the talk of Carl Walker and Bernardo Silva having lost so many players it's it's so important that they keep Carl Walker it's so important that Bernardo Silva signs a new contract but I think one player when and it's, it's a difficult one when you talk Man City because there's fantastic players all over the pitch but the one player I think as it stands they can't afford to lose is Rodri I don't think anyone plays the position like him yeah, you're, you're talking about probably people stepping in there, whether it's John Stones or Young Lewis can play there as well, can't he? But, but Rodri is... Well, as someone well, he said, makes the game look very easy for a start because, yep. I mean, even though he will cover the distance, it never really feels as though he, he, he moves a lot because his football intelligence and his positional know-how is so good at standing still. It's a lot of things that young people probably get taught the opposite. Oh, you've always got to be on the move. It's a myth when you know coaches say to young players in the box you've got to be on the move in the 18 yard box if you're in a good position stand still ball on the right hand side with Manchester City comes back towards the halfway line Walker plays it through but uh, Goodell was there and so he's able to pick out the ball forward towards Rakitic and then Rakitic the former Barcelona man takes it on and uh, is fouled or uh, concedes a foul and it's a free kick to Manchester City 10 yards inside their own half choice of listening tonight the 100 continues on Sports Extra Southern Brave against Birmingham so that is on Sports Extra on your uh, digital radio BBC Sounds uh, we're also covering Queen's Park Rangers against Norwich City that uh, outstanding tie in the first round of the Carabao Cup uh, let's see how, how it's going with Aaron Paul QPR no Norwich no little in the way of concrete goal mouth action here oh no Hernandez has had the best of the chances the winger honours a first half Norwich City sub scuffing an effort from close range into the arms of Jordan Archer the winners here by the way take on Bristol City away it is no no thank you so Manchester City nil Sevilla nil free kick to the Spanish side and that is taken forward by Jordan but can't keep it in on the far side and it's a throw into Manchester City and I think as well with Rodri you were talking before about the leaders that Manchester City have had he's got leader written all over him as well he came in and spoke to us yesterday uh, he, you know very again yet another appears to be a really good character very thoughtful and uh, and as our colleague George said to me yesterday best holding midfielder in the world oh, I think so as I said before he makes the game look very easy and he's a He's a pet midfield player. Kovacic now takes it on, gives it to Haaland on the edge of the box to Grealish on the left-hand side. Grealish's ball across. He was looking for the head of Haaland. It's headed away by Bade. Comes back, though, to Grealish with Jesus Navas, who tried to hook it in field. Yeah, in the absolute flow of the season there, probably Grealish gets the touch on that, takes it away from Navas, yeah. but it was heavy and it's a throw. He's actually apologising to Cole Palmer because even though Haaland made the run, he spotted Cole Palmer arriving at the near post. He was unmarked. He just underhit the cross. So it is nil nil. Manchester City trying to win this competition, this cup, this smooth silver cup that is on the CV, the, the honours list of most of the top clubs. And Manchester City, that's where 
they consider themselves to be, rightly. They're the 40th different club to play in this fixture. Here's Grealish on the left-hand side. Grealish carrying the ball on towards the edge of the area, but it's all rather slow-paced, this, in the Greek warmth here. Kovacic turns, but just gets away from him. And Jesus Navas is able to put in the, the tackle, and it comes back to him. And then he <laughs> hits his sword, it hits Kovacic, slap in the face. You might have been able to hear that because he slipped as he went in there Kovic to try and block it and it slapped him right on the side of the face oh, they're horrible for, for players they are absolute ho they're horrible because you're not expecting it Nezis Navas is trying to hit a rake in 50 yard ball up front and it catches Kovacic right on the chin and probably what 7 yards or oh, if that and uh, he's ok he's alright he's just Rubbing his might hit him on the nose actually cheap nose area and uh, we're going to have a water break actually which I'm not surprised that's almost midway through the first half and in these conditions uh, clearly that's agreed I think there is a certain temperature isn't there if it's all of a certain temperature then you have a water break during the course of the match so Don Hutchison so far Manchester City clearly with the better chances Palmer's shot Ake's header Grealish's effort as well yeah, I think the first five, ten minutes or so, I thought Sevilla were the better side. They looked comfortable. They made Man City fall into one or two areas. I think Manuel Akanji was guilty. First five minutes of giving a couple of dangerous balls away. But since then, they've settled. They've got on the ball. So the players now grouped together, uh, passing, passing around, around the water bottles. We're just watching Pep deliver the team talk to Carl Walker. And I think he's asking, potentially, Jack Grealish and Cole Palmer for more width. Yeah, he looks okay tonight. If he was under the weather yesterday, he's all full of anim animation. I can hear him clapping his hands down there. Quite a long beard at the moment. Pep Guardiola, all in black, but the beard quite silver now. And he's still talking away to uh, to Guardiola, making his full competitive debut. And let's get a word. Neil Lennon's back in the studio watching this, following it from afar. What have you made so of it so far, Neil? Yeah, it's uh, Sevilla have been quite compact and resilient so far. Interesting to see Kovacic picking up the positions of Gundogan would normally John and trying to get on the half turn and release Haaland. Uh, you know, City starting to dominate possession, Sevilla not much in an attacking sense. So, so far it's been okay, not spectacular, but you just see City's power come to the fore the longer the half wears on. Yeah, thank you, Neil. Neil Lennon, former Celtic manager. And, um, and Don, you know, when you and I were talking about what Kovacic would bring, and Neil's just compared him to, to Gundogan there, who really weighed in with goals. But from his time at Chelsea, uh, Matteo Kovacic, even though, you know, excellent player for Chelsea, player of the year one season, number of goals he scored in a season, 0-2, 0-2-2. -2. He has Palmer on the right-hand side. Palmer. Palmer turns, he's put under pressure, might have been fouled by Acuna. Referee Le Tessier says no, so Sevilla are able to bring it away and Acuna must have just got a foot in on that, but Sevilla go back towards the edge so of their own penalty area. His best numbers were two. Two. In a season. So six goals in 221 Chelsea appearances. And Neil Lennon would be 100 million. <laughs> Here is a Campos now bringing the ball forward. He's actually in a central position, more towards the left-hand side. Then Acuna with the cross. Good cross. Oh! <laughs> And it's in, and this year he got up there, the big man, the Moroccan, ahead of Nathan Ake. And Sevilla take the lead against Manchester City in the Super Cup. Manchester City nil, Sevilla won. Well, that's what they do when Enneziri's in the box. They're a threat when they get it in wide areas, and the leap is incredible. He spots the flight of the ball ever so well, quite early. Bono started the move by playing it into midfield. They flick it round the corner, they've got an overload down their left hand side and once they work it down the left hand side they're not shy he gets himself 1v1 just in behind Nathan Ake and Vardiol there's a few waves of hands in the press box to signal there might be an offside I didn't see that but what a header a bullet header there's no way once Nathan Ake's static and in this ear he's on the jump he's not offside it's a fantastic finish. Headed it right into the bottom left corner from, what, six, seven yards out, something like that. And uh, as you say, Don, his leap is prodigious, isn't it? I mean, he's a big man to start with. It's always the nightmare, John, for centre-halves when a ball's whipped in and a centre-half has to open up his body in, in Nathan Ake's case. He tries to, one, keep an eye on the player in Naziri, two, get the flight of the ball, 
and everything's happening so quickly and once you are underneath it and Ennazeri gets the jump on him it's impossible to stop so Ennazeri scores as he did in the opening league match of the season on Friday night so two matches two goals good age you know 26 years old Ennazeri and um, you know that leap that he has do you remember the goal that he scored at the World Cup as well against Portugal and he was <laughs> it's extraordinary. He managed to get himself up to an extraordinary height to, to head it in, and they're towering above the Manchester City defenders. So got, he's got that. I played with Freddie Canute at West Ham, mm-hmm. and he's got that Freddie Canute. Exactly. He's got that. He's got that Freddie sort of six three six four. But when he jumps, and Freddie could jump, and the is the same. When he jumps, dear me, you get some serious height. That's John Hutchison. Manchester City nil. Sevilla nil. On this day, we brought you commentary live from Sydney on the World Cup semi-final tonight we're bringing you commentary from inside the stadium here in Greece as Jack Grealish is tripped and that is a, a free kick Grealish looks less than impressed with that from sort of Lamella who got the touch there were three players around him free kick is uh, taken by City so 1-0 down Sevilla lead by one goal to nil regulars over the course of the last 20 years in this match because of their record in the Europa League UEFA Cup Grealish playing it in but Baddy is up there to head it away and then it uh, is given away weak header back by Oliver Torres so Grealish Grealish back to Guardiol and then a Kanji that hits Rodri so Sevilla have got it back and it's actually played right forward well. by Jordan nicely just economically lifted a volley forward looked to set Sevilla away again Acuna on the left hand side Acuna's pass is uh, easily intercepted they're by. breaking well though John every mm. time Man City give the ball away in a tight area when they're trying to pick that final pass Sevilla are very good at breaking they are and suddenly Manchester City have got a, a challenge on their hands here having already lost out in the community shield and panic east to Arsenal with that late late equaliser now here they are against Sevilla they've actually lost the last five times they've been in this match the Super Cup only won it once the first time they were in it back in 2006 and here is Rodri back to Walker and the Manchester City captain tonight just allows the ball to come to a rest and then taps it out towards Palmer on the far side I'm watching Foden. the movement I'm watching the movement of Phil Foden and he's trying to get just in behind Ivan Rakitic but Lucas Acampos is doing a very good job at stopping him still Manchester City in possession but it's, it's not got that zip about it at the moment in Sevilla everyone apart from goal scorer in Naziri behind the ball City have thought they might have had a free kick there but Manchester City have got it back Guardiola goes for an early ball but that's way over the head of Haaland and actually Palmer will do well to keep it in he can't it rattles into the red hoardings over there <laughs> to, to the acclaim of the Sevilla fans and their white and red shirts and the stands behind it thrown to the to uh, Sevilla yeah Sevilla are taking confidence from the times that they're nicking the ball off Man City in dangerous areas and they're just a couple of passes away when they string them Sevilla from getting maybe En Naziri in dangerous areas so throwing to Sevilla in their own left back position Man City left themselves at the back 1v1 Vardiol versus Lamella but it is Ake heading it forward and then uh, Chester down and here is a ball to Lamella and the Sevilla number 17 as well Grealish arrives but he gives it to Jesus Navas Jesus Navas low ball into the penalty area Ake near the penalty spot oh, it's not the, it's yes. not the delivery that En Naziri wanted he wanted the ball in the air towards the back post Navas went low went to the front post I have to confess uh, Don a number of times I used to watch Jesus Navas and commentate on him for Manchester City and get frustrated when he put in balls yes. like that here is Ocampos it was a mark of his game it he was in so many good areas he kept hitting the front post didn't he yeah he did I'll tell you what he's been some right back the last four or five years mm. well you know having won this competition four times with Sevilla here they are on the right Oliver Torres ball across oh chance from the Mella stretching for it just leaning back and that meant that the left foot shot near the edge of the box across goal went wide at the top left corner and it was a big chance he just went for the wrong technique there Eric Lamella on his left foot he tries to open up the face which therefore puts a lot of fade and a lot of slice on it so it's a very difficult skill to try and find the top corner because it's always fading away from goal so it remains Manchester City nil, Sevilla 1 here on BBC Radio 5 Live and Radio Manchester and uh, Manchester City who've not conceded two goals in any match 
since January. Just living a little dangerously there. Ball goes back to Guardiol. He turns and gives it back to Grealish. And then back to Guardiol near the halfway line. That was the that was the win against Tottenham at the Etihad Stadium when they won 4-2. And we're in trouble in that game, remember, and came back and, and won it well. Here's Palmer. Palmer on the right-hand side. Palmer with the cross. That's blocked right across the middle of the pitch. Kanji, though, slightly behind him. Goes back to Walker. And Kyle Walker. I tell you, the trouble for Man City where they're trying to problem-solve at the moment is how many red shirts are behind the ball. Compact. Narrow. Yeah. They're going to have to be patient. Grealish is the out ball. Wide left. Rodri might play it now. Decides against it. Yeah, this Mendili bar side, as they showed in the uh, knockout stages of the Europa League last season can be very awkward customers comes back to Kovacic Kovacic now then taps it back to Rodri and then back to Ake near the halfway line but everyone uh, or everyone in red is behind the ball now Grealish on the left hand side trying to find a way through all of these red shirts and he's actually weaving his run infield back towards almost the centre circle but nowhere gives it to Walker Walker's been put under pressure he shrugs off the challenge from uh, Oliver Torres now back to Guardiol Guardiol back to Rodri on his right foot Rodri's ball into the area that's hooked away by Guardiol with Palmer trying to get round the back but Guardiol what, uh, Goodell watched it onto his right foot and was able to clear it away quite comfortably for Sevilla I think Jack Willis is going to mix his game up he's playing against up against a 37 year old right back and he keeps cutting in onto his right foot going into traffic I would say go and take him on once or twice Paul Palmer with it on the left hand side Palmer then back towards the halfway line again. So 1 0 to Sevilla here in Greece. And uh, oh, the ball is played through to Haaland. Bade was all over the back of Haaland, sent him sprawling down. Tell you, could have been a red. And Haaland, if he'd been able to get away there, I think possibly just the, the, the way that the, the post over hit. Overhead. Yes, so Haaland, I don't think, was going to get there. But Bade, nevertheless, pulled him over. Yellow card for Bade for the Sevilla central defender. Yeah, we're going to have a look at it. We've got it on the monitor ball from Rodri yeah I think the goalkeeper Bonner was always favourite to get that I think it's worth the ask if you're Erlen Haaland but a yellow seems about the right call well this is Baddy who was sent off on Friday night as I mentioned so sent off on Friday night and was that was that was quite close to being another red card but it is a yellow Sevilla who were shown 14 red cards last season across all competitions 14 red cards in the same season some kind of record free kick then for Manchester City well Foden likes the look of this it's a long way out though for Phil Foden this would be some effort this is close, probably closer to 30 yards than 25 yeah it might save a Carl Walker if he wants to go for power but I think it's going to be Foden Kyle Walker would be an unlikely scorer I think it is going to be Foden the wall is in the D Foden waits one foot slightly in front of the other and up he comes left footed with the free kick that hits the top of the wall and, and poleaxes one of the players in it who has gone down and is flat on his back in the D and we'll have a, a stoppage here and actually the medical people are very quickly on of course with the concussion I think it's Rakitic yeah I think it might be Rakitic issues. in the wall I think I think it is isn't it yeah so uh, they're going to have a look at him and this could be a concussion issue so that uh, it, it is possible that this might be the end of Ivan Rakitic's night he's flat on his back and they're leaning over him so while while they uh, make sure that everything's okay with Ivan Rakitic let's get the half time news from QPR Norwich from Aaron Paul QPR no, Norwich now loads of changes little in the way of action both sides have been pretty blunt in the final third Ono Hernandez with the best chance of the game for the visitors his point blank effort trickled into the arms of Jordan Archer in the Rangers goal this one will go straight to penalties if it stays that it is Bristol City awaiting round two at the break however it is QPR nil Norwich nil uh, Rakitic is on his feet and is being led off the field so uh, we will see if he's okay in fact it's not Jordan Rakitic, it's uh, yeah, Jordan who is the player who took the ball in the face and, uh, and he is just I think he's going to be okay looks as though he means to come back on well, we've just seen a replay of the end Naziri goal and what a delivery it was from Marcus Acuna from that left hand side it was some cross this could be the Aston Villa bound Acuna Marcus Acuna the uh, 
the locals who, who follow Sevilla were telling us yesterday that Aston Villa very interested in, uh, in him 31 years old but another of the Argentine World Cup winners and of course now at Aston Villa Monchi yep. is there the former Sevilla sporting director who will know everything there is to know about Marcus Acuna well he was instrumental when they got relegated in 2000 Monchi the great sporting director as you said he was given two objectives when they went down it was improve the youth system and improve the scout and he created a network of 700 scouts that is amazing isn't it so that uh, you know, gives you an idea of perhaps what he's he'll be trying to do at Aston Villa as well here's Palmer play back underway ball into the penalty area Akanji on the chase Akanji taking it to the byline and it's blocked behind for uh, another corner to Manchester City the they've got to just came across and blocked it out and it's yeah. a corner they've got to improve their passing Man City I think over the last five or ten minutes they've shown a bit of frustration the passing hasn't passing hasn't been as slick as it was the first 15 so Dan is back on incidentally so it's a corner from the right Manchester City 1-0 down here in the Super Cup match and this is going to be uh, swung in by Grealish high one towards the penalty spot which is headed over by a leaping Rodri I'm not sure that I thought it came off Rodri I thought it came off his shoulder referee's given a corner yeah and well and this is being uh, this is being heavily disputed but it's actually it's the right decision it was a great call yeah <laughs> Rakitic kicked over right fuss about that <laughs> but it was the right decision he headed it down onto the onto the back of uh, Mount Willoughby Rakitic actually right corner from the left Foden to take it for Manchester City but that's headed away at the point of the six yard box by Sevilla Jesus Navas and Manchester City take up possession again one more down to that 25th minute goal from Yusuf N. Naziri that actually went in off the foot the very foot of the left post as well when I say it was right in the bottom corner that's how right in the bottom corner it was we'll have more from Neil Lennon on this at half time with Mark Chapman uh, and also at half time more on the Scotland Rugby Union World Cup announcement today and uh, we will have comprehensive coverage this autumn commentary on Five Live and Sports Extra of the matches hear them all via BBC Sounds and here is Grealish on the left hand side back towards Gvardiol Gvardiol picks out the pass flick from Kovacic Grealish could have been in but Jesus Navas was tight with him got a touch and Bade was able to put it out of play yeah the problem was Jack Grealish wasn't alive to the Phil Foden flick they were on a different wavelength there it was super play from Foden Manchester City who will be at home to Newcastle on Saturday night already this season that's shaping up to be quite a match so that's Saturday night all the coverage of course on Five Live over the course of this weekend as we continue to bring you more Premier League commentaries than you'll hear anywhere else here is Rodri out to the left hand side to Grealish take him on Grealish into the full back position against Jesus Navas flicks it back Campos was there as well Kovacic just gets there first his second start for Manchester City after his move this summer Kovacic back towards Rodri and then Rodri up towards Akanji back it goes to Walker Akanji in, in, in a very advanced position Palmer plays it in Haaland is there let for the ball got a touch on it but with his back to goal Foden then back to Rodri who's tripped and that's a free kick the, uh, the challenge from Jordan and a free kick to Manchester City in actually a very similar sort of position but this one's right of centre as opposed to left of centre from the distance that we saw Phil Foden have a, a crack and, and hit Jordan in the wall very smart though from Rodri the way he gets his body and protects the ball as a midfield player you can't nick that and you give a foul away free kick then for City but with it being right of centre it's Palmer, Grealish and Walker are there as well I think they'll probably look left as in Jack Grealish might clip this towards Nathan Ake and Manuel Akanji little diagonal clip of about 20 yards far post Bono's actually come right out of his six yard box almost the penalty spot with some instructions for the wall it's actually capped by Grealish Palmer with a touch Grealish curls it in Bono comes and just again just to the point where you think he's about to catch it he actually punches it away just catch it but a uh, good good distance on the punch but possession back to Manchester City end of the last five minutes of the first half and Manchester City just up against it 1-0 down and certainly not absolute free-flowing football of Manchester City at their best by, by a distance 
Here's Walker back out to the right. It's Sevilla, as Don Hutchison said, making it difficult for them. They've got the 1-0 lead. They are uh, sitting in there. Saying that Manchester City, you're going to have to find a way through us. And they can't get that fizz going. Kovacic has been fouled. This one's between the centre circle and the edge of the penalty area, so this will have to be played in. Foden's going to come across. Walker, as befits him, walks across, taps it square. Foden, now to the right-hand side, to Palmer. Everyone is back behind the ball for Sevilla. Guardiol, square towards Walker. He's going to have a crack for goal, but doesn't beat the first man. It was blocked by Rakitic, who is eight or nine yards away from him. And the ball actually rebounds all the way back into the Manchester City half where Guardiol has to go and get it. Not often you'd say about a Guardiola side, they're a little bit predictable here, Man City. Mm. They are. Grealish will get it on the left-hand side, but instead of taking Navas on, he comes inside, goes across the field. Palmer's the one on that left foot that might put a dangerous cross in. Here he is, Palmer. Palmer up against Acuna. Went one way, then the other came infield. Kanji's there on the edge of the box. Back to Palmer. He got a touch at pace. Back to Kovacic, 25 yards out. Kovacic is being hassled by Jesus Navas. And then uh, that has to go back to Ake. You literally could throw a blanket over about 20 players, couldn't you? Mm -hmm. Close to the 18-yard box. It's really narrow. Yeah. Great from Sevilla's point of view. However, Manchester City, as Grealish is caught by a Campos. Better. Clever from Grealish. Better. Just, as he came in, a Campos. Grealish just lifted the ball past him. A Campos had already committed himself. Brought down Grealish, who went sprawling down. A Campos got it, immediately apologised. Well, I'd like to see it again because... It looked like a bad foul, which would have been a yellow card. It was better from Jack Grealish, though. It was. It should have been a yellow card. A Campos catches him on the thigh, above the knee. He knew it, a Campos. Look how high he is there on the replay. Yeah. The, the sort of fling, the, the flailing second foot. That is Grealish. a yellow card all day long. A Campos knew it. I think he expected to see the yellow card. And when the referee, the Frenchman, Letessier, came over, he actually sort of put out a hand and <laughs> tapped his hand as if to say, thanks, mate, for not... Not show me a yellow card. British is okay, and he's on his feet. One nil Sevilla lead. So uh, just down in front of us here, Foden and Grealish in discussions. Grealish runs over the ball, outswinger from Foden then to the back post, which is headed down to Kanji with a shot, but that's blocked inside the penalty area. Hit one of those many bodies inside the Sevilla box, and then Sevilla clear it all the way downfield for uh, Walker to give back to. Edison passes it out to Kovacic who's got space here Kovacic and Kovacic just uh, takes it on takes it over the halfway line a severe retreat and then uh, as the ball is played to his right to Rodri in comes the challenge heavy touch over there on the far side from uh, Oliver Torres just get the feeling when Man City have got the ball, ball and they're playing it into midfield Sevilla are setting traps for them they're saying go on play in that little pocket of space because when we nick it we've got two or three players I think Jordan's done a really good job alongside Rakitic of not allowing the space and they're trying to break very quickly so they're setting traps for Man City Manchester City though, you know they're used to this sort of challenge how many times do you see them playing against teams that have packed the defence and are saying to City you have to find a way through us Kovacic now with a run towards the edge of the penalty area Haaland played into him in amongst play I mean he was surrounded by Haaland tried to get a touch back to Kovacic wasn't able to do so and it is one of those games as well where Haaland, I don't know what the touch count is for Haaland, but it won't be terribly high. Well, you'd be happy if you're a Sevilla fan and you're watching balls go into Haaland's feet with about five players wrapped around him. It's not his strength. Here is Grealish then. Grealish. Up against Enziri, actually, who's back there. Almost in his own left-back position with Grealish. Ake passes it forward. The City fans, you can hear them over on the far side. I suspect many of them might be uh, coming here as part of a holiday maybe heading off to the islands after this the uh, marina with Piraeus is just a short distance away where all of the yachts are this gleaming Mediterranean lapping against the harbour here is Ake Ake to the left hand side to Grealish Grealish past Jesus Navas now to Rodri on the edge of the box Rodri leaves the defender on the ground then couldn't find the pass through to Grealish it was cut out by the falling Jesus Navas but Rodri left his man I think it was Jordan wasn't it who slipped and was left on the seat of his pants ball in towards Grealish on the edge of the box but his touch was heavy that was headed away by Acuna that was more promising 
Yeah, he dropped the shoulder well there, Rodri, but once he dropped the shoulder, he then brought the ball back onto his weaker left foot, and then he thought, I can't really take the strike on on my left foot on the angle, it's not on. Rodri, oh, what a pass! Foden across, all the way across the six-yard box. Palmer's in there as well. Angle very tight, and then in came the challenge from Acuna, who was able to nick it away, but City suddenly, suddenly are finding a way through. Better. Early ball into Phil Foden's feet, in behind that back line. Great pass from Rodri. Really slipped it down. There's De Bruyne, I like, wasn't it? To find that pass through there. The eye of the proverbial needle. Rodri again. Back square to Guardiol. Guardiol. Now Grealish. Grealish up against Jesus Navas again. Went one way, then curls it in all the way beyond the far post. And Bono, who was. Well, he looked. I mean, he didn't know. He looked as though he didn't know what he was going to do. Bono, whether he was going to come, leave it, and in the end, left it. And uh, he almost gives Acuna a big cuddle for the fact that they survived. Yeah, it was the right ball to play from Jack Willis. Just worked the yard on Navas, then put it towards the far post. Kovacic was in there and Cole Palmer, but just a yard heavy on the cross. So we are into added time at the end of the first half. Three minutes of added time to be played. Manchester City nil. Sevilla won just a reminder if it does finish level at the end of the 90 minutes plus it would be straight to penalties if you just switched on to us tonight but uh, 1-0 Sevilla lead and it is Sevilla who'd get their hands here's us Navas on that uh, Super Cup trophy here is Ocampos back into his own half Acuna Acuna who set up the goal for En Naziri across from the left hand side back to Bono and the Moroccan goalkeeper, long from his left foot, that uh, Akanji will just see the ball back to Edison. The Campos was battling for it, but Edison, long and left-footed, Foden, heads it back towards Gvardiol, and Gvardiol curls it forward, but Jesus Navas is quite happy to head that out. And I think that might be it, I make it just five or six seconds of the three minutes are to be played and uh, the referee's got his whistle in his mouth and there it is, the end of the first half with Manchester City creating chances but certainly not at their best and Sevilla scoring the only goal so far that towering header from Yusuf N. Naziri, Don Hutchison and that was a well worked goal as well the brilliant pull from Marcus Acuna on that left hand side for Sevilla who I feel have been quite comfortable yes they've been without the ball but they've been compact, they've been narrow they've been hard to play against and on the counter with Lamella's quality, the height, the strength, the pace of Naziri and Lucas Acampos has been a threat. So I think Mendilabar will be a happy man going in at half time. More problems for Guardiola at the break. Yep, water bottles all round here after a sweltering first half that has ended Manchester City nil, Sevilla one. Thank you very much. Here we are, no changes at the start of the second half. Manchester City nil, Sevilla one in the UEFA Super Cup match here in Greece so City with Edison in goal Walker, Akanji, Kvardiol and Ake Rodri with Foden and Kovacic either side and then Palmer on the right Grealish on the left and Haaland through the middle as uh, referee Letessier blows the whistle and Sevilla get the second half underway in the all red kit with the golden numbers on the back and then an early foul for Kyle Walker's challenge on a campus on the, uh, on the Sevilla left wing so it's a free kick for Sevilla who have Bono in goal the back four of Navas, Bade, Goodell and Acuna and the uh, midfield of Rakitic, Jordan and Oliver Torres a Campos sometimes on the right but actually mainly on the left Lamella and goal scorer N Naziri and Don Hutchison watching it with us well now they've got a face early on a potential cross in the box from Acuna or Rakitic so this will be going in the box just depends if it's the in swinger from Rakitic or the out swinger with Acuna's dangerous left foot I think it'll be Rakitic yeah, City holding their line on the edge of the box. Rakitic plays it in deep towards the back post. Gvardiol is after it. It got some contact, and I noticed Goodell, certainly, there the are arms going up, suggesting that it might have struck a City hand in there. So VAR will be watching that while play continues, with Sevilla going all the way back towards the edge of their own box to goalkeeper Bono. I thought there might have been one or two changes at half-time, given the given the hot conditions here tonight but not yet and uh, Akanji 
passing it forward to Rodri who goes all the way back to goalkeeper Edison well, think, so, go, sorry go. sorry I think first and foremost the team talk from Pep I would imagine would be to move the ball quicker and they need to get Erlen Haaland some chances he's been starved of the ball and what do you think it is that Manchester City are, are missing tonight, would you say? Well, they're trying to problem solve. They're coming up against a very stubborn side who are compact and narrow, so they've got to keep that ball moving, try and shift the midfield players around, get the ball in Erlen Haaland's feet or Kovacic's feet, and try and be a goal threat, because they've not really been threatening. OK, knocking the ball back to Edison. City are being forced back, and Guardiola had to do well there in the challenge, but he did actually, came out with the ball. And then it's played for by Rodri to Kovacic. And Kovacic turns quickly, he's away, he's over the halfway line, gives it to Palmer on the right-hand side. Manchester City's number 80. Then to Kovacic, who turns it across the edge of the six-yard box. But the covering defender was there, Jordan it was, coming back from midfield to put it out of play for a throw to City, level with the edge of the box. Well, that looked like a piece of work done on the training ground where normally Kevin oh, De Bruyne would happening? put that ball in the box what's happening here Don because the referee's saying hang on wait now wait, are, they are they looking at the a possible handball the, the, it's got the hallmarks here of uh, VAR saying wait wait we're having a look at um, and we're just now seeing it on the television screen no, it's here. not handball it hits uh, Vardial's thigh yeah. Guardiola's jumping for the ball as it came over uh, his arm was down by his side and it struck never it. been no. never been on ball no and so there but interesting run there from Kovacic normally they expect when De Bruyne is fully fit to get in that little pocket on the right hand side to then deliver the balls into the 18 yard box so it's obviously something they're working on Kovacic's game so Manchester City nil, Sevilla 1 this is BBC Radio 5 Live Radio Manchester listeners are with us as well so welcome to you inside the stadium here the home of Olympiacos one tier all the way around hospitality boxes behind us Super Cup branding all over the place and 10,000 Manchester City fans are best part of that inside watching from the stands and, uh, and hoping for better from Manchester City here is Gvardiol then on his full debut his competitive full debut for Manchester City Ch uh, plays the ball in field towards Rodri then Foden back to Gvardiol here's Grealish on the left hand side into the box Grealish dropping his shoulder playing it back Gvardiol's cross swept in left footed that's headed away on the edge of the six yard area by Bade for Sevilla and Manchester City take up possession again Walker shapes the pass to Palmer who does really well turns his man Palmer back to the edge of the box a Akanji with a shot but straight into an opponent and Sevilla will break away here on the counter attack well played Acampos hurdles Walker oh, Acampos is off downfield across to Ednaziri who shoots into the body of Edison who's able to make the save dropping down to his right what a chance what a chance for 2-0 not taken Sevilla oh the family and the friends and our end where we're sitting realise it's a massive chance the chance was coming for an absolute mile off Carl Walker was all in to try and stop Acampos and once he got away from him Ednaziri was he had loads of space to run into the ball was a real good one the finish wasn't really clinical that was a massive chance to go 2-0 up oh the severe supporters Don's absolutely right down in front of us here see if we can find the and Naziris where are they <laughs> you, can, you can tell because they've You've all got the little, lamellas yes they've all got little groups of them with all of the same name on the back so I can see the I can see the Torreses down there uh, but I can't see the end of the series. They've probably just hidden, put, put their coats on after he missed that chance. He's got a great goal in the first half. Brilliant header. And, uh, and we've got to stop it here because well, the referee is coming across and going to show yellow card. Card. There's someone on the bench on for the, Manchester City. Yeah, on the coaching staff. But interesting, Pep has sent about four or five Man City players to warm up after Sevilla had that chance. Manchester City nil, Sevilla one. I thought I could smell Spanish aftershave there when I, leave, when I leant forward. It's actually, producer George has just sprayed us with insect Brilliant. repellent. Brilliant. So it's not aftershave. Manchester City nil, Sevilla I've not one. seen one insect on this trip. Has he come up with that? <laughs> well, he's obviously sensed it. Here's Acampos again down the left-hand side. Walker trying to get there. Acampos up against him. Walker as well. It's a little bit of hand being pulled back by Walker, pulling his man, but there wasn't enough and uh, Walker there having, having been beaten by a Campos once he wasn't going to be beaten twice and uh, Manchester City's latest attack breaks down and it's whacked away downfield by Jesus Navas 
out of play. He was trying to get a touch off uh, Foden actually, but it was out for a throw to Manchester City. So City nil, Sevilla one, but City could easily be 2 0 down in this match after that chance was missed by En Naziri. Just shot at the goalkeeper, didn't he? Yeah, he wasn't really convincing. I think the best two players, in my view, for Man City have been Rodri in the middle of the park mm. and Bordial. I think he's having a fantastic debut. It's the cutting edge at the top end of the pitch that's missing. Yeah, agree with that. I've seen some one or two bright bits and pieces from Palmer as well on the right hand side. There's uh, the Kanji's caught in possession, not for the first time in the match. It's this is just inside his own half. And Campos in. plays it through. And Nazieri, Ake's trying to get there. The angle's tight. And actually, he shoots wide. A bit of a scuffed shot as Ake slid in. I did initially wonder whether Ake had got something on that, but he didn't. It was just a, a poorly hit shot wide of the near post. And how many times does Akanji give the ball away in a dangerous area? I think that's the third or the fourth. Yep, sloppy. Oh, Most give the ball away again. Give, give it away. Rodri this time. It's catching. 1-0 Sevilla lead. And Manchester City living dangerously here. The Campos, who uh, brings the ball forward. And then, well, there wasn't a great deal in that. He, he checked back as Rodri came in. And the Campos went down very theatrically. And he, he is prone to this, the Campos. <laughs> I love the way Campos is just held out his hand for Cole Palmer to pick him up and the youngsters just walked straight past him yeah blanked him yeah that was that was very Manchester wasn't it yeah. and Cole Palmer so it's a free kick for Sevilla should say I mean they, they they do look like the team that's going to get the next goal they do Man City have not really been threatening yeah. apart from the first 5 or 10 minutes 15 minutes of the game and as well as you know what is it about this display that Manchester City are missing you know Dunn's answered what it is out there on the field but what it also is is De Bruyne Bernardo Silva who's unwell not here and Gundogan Mahrez. who has gone for good Mahrez as well I tell you they're up against a very very good opposition as well this is yep. a seriously good yep. severe side yep. don't be fooled by their defeat against Valencia on Friday night and uh, they're, they're taking an age of a time here well, I to think place the ball well Jordan's taking the Ronaldo run up he is. on the angle from about 30 yards so this would be some effort yep Juan Jordan is now coming up and hitting this ball right oh. footed and Edison got a good sight of it over the wall but Edison saw it and gathered it a little juggle but caught it quite comfortably just close to his right post it looked it looked very good didn't it it's Ronaldo-esque wasn't it yeah, and uh, back it goes into the city half Joan Jordan has come in because uh, Fernando is not here another player who's missing this match through illness and the feeling was that uh, new signing Gibral Sol would actually be involved in the match the Swiss international who they signed from Eintracht Frankfurt this summer but uh, he's only among the substitutes and Jordan is playing I know it's a feature of Erlen Haaland's game and we shouldn't really pay too much attention the lack of touches because 52 goals last season two already in the Premier League but he's hardly touched the ball mm. hardly touched it similar in the Community Shield wasn't it and then he won the match for Manchester City against Burnley the early goal two goals match over he's been well screened though yeah, Rakitic in front of him and Jordan yeah. as well as having two big centre halves to deal with yeah and there's been very little space for him the, the, when the, the ball's not really been there either and of course Bade fouled him when there was the possibility in the first half here's a Campos again on the left hand side for Sevilla causing problems up against Walker it's a good contest this now a Campos played it inside Walker but Kovacic had come across it and it was blocked out of play for a throw on the left wonder, a Campos the Argentine done I wonder if he's thinking Pep I wonder if he's thinking Julian Alvarez alongside Haaland just to try and be a threat try and get some chances yeah that would be uh, it certainly it, it just feel like it needs something throw in taken by Acuna to Acampos but then City are able to win it back Palmer and then Acuna in with a challenge Palmer plays it forward but well he's saying Palmer's saying it took a touch I'm not sure it did and it is a throw into Sevilla near the halfway line and uh, well, confusion reigns here I think there's a miscommunication between maybe the assistant and the referee and Jose Luis Mendilibar, the Sevilla coach, looked confused as well, but anyway, it's a throw in for, for uh, Manchester City in the end. And they go back to Edison. Manchester City nil, Sevilla won. Just over half an hour to play. And 
Manchester City lacking something. They've not created a chance in the second half yet to speak of. But here they come down the left. Now Grealish getting the ball back from Foden. Grealish looking infield for Foden, but Grealish couldn't find the pass. Tries to win the ball back. But Rakitic had it quite comfortably. Former Barcelona Champions League winner. Now Oliver Torres returning the ball for Lamella on the right-hand side. Lamella running at Gvardiol, coming cross-field, and Lamella rolls the ball into the path of Acampos in the box, and Acampos curls it right across the six-yard area, but beyond in the Ziri's room, and it's a goal kick. Now, it's a classic case of getting caught in between two minds there. Acampos is thinking the red shirt far post, I'll clip it in there, but also I might just try and bend it in the bottom corner, and it was right in between both. Campos, who you'll normally see if you watch Sevilla last season on the right-hand side, but he's been playing mainly on the left here. And, uh, you know, I do think he's, I think he's a decent talent, Campos, 29 years old, nearly went to Ajax in the first part of last season. Deal was agreed, went on loan, but hardly played, and then came back and played a really big part in Sevilla's recovery last season, ultimately ending up in winning the Europa League in Budapest. He's got the tools, hasn't he, because he's a he good has. size, he's quick, he's got good skill. He can take players on. Palmer down the right now. Palmer looking for the run of Kovacic, but Kovacic is being uh, shielded by the run of Goodell, who's also a, you know, a real rugged defender, isn't he? Goodell, a Serbian, lots of experience, and he saw it out for a goal kick. So it remains Manchester City nil, Sevilla 1. Goal kick to Sevilla on this day. I hope you were listening earlier. If you're out and about and hearing Vicky Sparks and Karen Barsley with a commentary from Sydney, uh, the, the, there's a special World Cup semi-final edition of the Football Daily that is out now on Sounds. So Serena Wiegmann's on there, many of the players as well. So you can get that from BBC Sounds. And then Five Live. It's going to be quite a day on Sunday. We're on air from 10 o'clock in the morning, live from Sydney with Juliet Farrington. Kick off 11 o'clock for the World Cup final, Spain against England. And, uh, and once all of that is done and dusted, we have Aston Villa, Everton and West Ham, Chelsea. Whereas on Saturday, two Premier League commentaries, Liverpool, Bournemouth at three o'clock. Chris Sutton and Ian Dennis together as Sevilla play. Uh, City play the ball forward, but Goodell's able to come across. And also Tottenham against Manchester United on five live at 5.30. I think I'll give Pep about two or three minutes Before. and a change is going to be imminent yeah. you can't be happy watching this mm, uh, God, Guardiola has played the ball behind Walker Palmer kept it in and we have half an hour to go four Manchester City substitutes are warming up down there Foden turns as well actually in the tight area manages to find Grealish Grealish now running at Jesus Navas but they've got quickly three men back in there in the red, Sevilla, square from Rodri, Akanji, just took a touch, which took it wide of him, back to Palmer, Cole Palmer coming in field, wanted to shoot left-footed, but again he's closed down, he's run into the congestion there, Foden plays it back out to the left-hand side, Gvardi all over, ran it, and therefore it's bounced away, and now Endesieri carries it forward for Sevilla, it's missed by Ake, and now they burst forward, Sevilla, and Endesieri's waiting in the middle, and it takes a little touch off the toe of Walker, and that meant that Edison could come out and grab the ball before Endesieri got there. Oh, Jesus Navas was a fraction away on the right-hand side from Fran and his front man, an inch away, vital touch out from Carl Walker, living on the edge here, City. They are, City. As I said, not conceded two goals in a match since January, but they're very close to doing that in this one. In this UEFA Super Cup match here, way down in the southeast of Europe. Vardyol with the ball on the left-hand side. Here is Grealish again. Into the last half hour now. Rodri. Rodri, ball in towards the back post, but that's one in the air. Won well, actually, by Campos, who was back inside his own penalty area, and then it's played out by Acuna to him. And Acampos... And the two Argentines together there on this flank, playing the ball back to Acuna. Palmer closes him down, but Acuna plays it centrally. Oh. And Naziri with a flick that everyone enjoyed inside the, the stadium. Flick in the air. It was. And now Acampos with a pass downfield for Naziri. Two City defenders there in Guardiol and Ake either side of him. And they just managed to get a touch and then Ake is bundled over by Lamella. Yellow. And that's a free kick. And a yellow card for Eric Lamella. Brilliant skill from. And Naziri, ball clipped up to him and a Cruyff flick in the air down to his teammate. But him and Campos are linking up. 
incredibly well. It was uh, it was it was quite a little, it was quite a piece of skill, wasn't it? Ben Yaziri was leaping in the air. And as he, he, so. he really reminds me of Freddy Canute. <laughs> and now he does in his style. I played with Freddy. Yeah, yeah. So much skill. There's a little bit of giraffe in there as well with his long limbs, but he pulled it off brilliantly. Here's Walker. Now to Grealish on the left hand side. Grealish, low ball in. Foden tries to give him it back, and that's whacked away by Bad Air, waist high volley that runs out of play near the halfway line. It's almost like you're watching a Phil Foden and a Jack Grealish that are just getting up to speed. Yeah, almost absolutely. like it's almost like they've had a, a slow pre-season mm. and they're not 100% because they're giving really sloppy balls away. Mm. Kovacic goes in, good challenge centre field. The ball bounces back and across to Walker. Kyle Walker back to Kovacic. Kovacic slips it to the right hand side to Palmer. Now Palmer again comes in field, plays the ball across, gets a flick off a severe leg. But it's carried to Rodri. Rodri back to Foden. Foden leans over and passes the ball back to Rodri. And in comes the cross from Rodri to the back post. And it's headed back and across again. And Manchester City find their equaliser to make it 1-1. And Cole Palmer at the back post. Off balance, but able to get his head to it. Back across goal and it dropped into the Sevilla net. And the young man has scored a goal on this big stage to make it Manchester City 1 Sevilla 1 oh, it's a brilliant ball and it was well timed he was onside he ran from deep I think once the cross comes in I think all the centre backs are looking towards Erlen Haaland but it was Rodri with a clip ball of about 25 yards to Cole Palmer and he does incredibly well it's one of them where you try and guide it towards the far post even trying to knock it down a little bit towards Haaland but he definitely goes for goal it's brilliant skill for the youngster such a hard skill to try and head that over the top of Bono and dropping it into the corner taking a lot of weight off the cross so Manchester City won Sevilla won and Manchester City well they've uh, they've hauled themselves out of a little bit of a hole there Sevilla could have had one two maybe more goals in the second half not able to take their chances and that really, that's a, I mean, that's their first attempt on target in the second half. Well, don't underestimate as well how much Guardiola wants this because when that ball dropped in the back of the net, the staff and all the players from Man City were celebrating big time. But Sevilla trying to respond to Campos again through the and Naziri, and then Naziri shoots and tried to slip it underneath Edison. Chance. And Edison just got something on that. He might even have saved it with his backside what as it chance. was going underneath him, but he took enough of the pace off it. It was his leg, actually, his trailing leg and uh, it stays out and then Naziri could have had a hat-trick in the second half I tell you, if he could have that chance again and Naziri would dink it over the goalkeeper he tried to go through Edison's legs which then give the Brazilian a chance to make the save and he's made the save, Edison again, another chance Sevilla could have scored four tonight the chances they've created not half chances, bearing down on the goalkeeper 1v1s and that was a Campos and Naziri for, well, what, the third time combining in the second half alone and really at least one of them should have ended up in the back of the net Manchester City are very fortunate here to be on level terms but Grealish is fouled through the foul in a classic Jack Grealish way and, uh, and a free kick in a good position after Jordan just stepping in on him caught him free kick towards the left hand side so Manchester City won Sevilla won and 21-year-old Cole Palmer, Manchester City fan growing up, Manchester boy. And he's caused the, the Mancunians in here in their sky blue shirts. You can see a couple of the inflatable bananas have made it all the way to Athens as well that are being clapped around in the stands. Free kick, Grealish runs over it. Foden plays it into the back post. It's headed away. The Campos was underneath that. And then Palmer on the edge of the area. I think the whistle might have gone actually, did it? Anyway, it is uh, Sevilla's ball and Bono will will hit it downfield. So Manchester City won, Sevilla won. Last I heard it was QPR nil, Norwich nil. In fact, 
Tell us, Aaron, is it? It is still QPR now, Norwich now. Same old story, really. John, both sides enjoying plenty of possession. There's little in the way of final third quality, though. Ashley Barnes has just planted a point blank header wide for the visitors. Penalties await if it stays like this. Nil nil. So it could be penalties there, could be penalties here in Greece as well with a 1 1 scoreline. Could be penalties after the 90 minutes. It's actually, after all that, it's Sevilla and coach Mendilibar who's going to make the first change. And uh, Kovacic coming forward and he finds Haaland and Haaland then back to Foden who couldn't find a way through and Vardy all on the edge of the box as it bounces back. Hits a shot that is deflected wide for a Manchester City corner from the left. And they're going to bring on Sevilla, a teenager in Juan Lu Sanchez who is a defender, right back or centre back. So I wonder if that might be Jesus Navas in the heat of Greece. Corner is taken short by Manchester City, played into the area to Gvardi but it bounces away from him. Ake is after this, Ake threw himself down, Acuna with the challenge. I think that might have been the right decision there, no free kick. Akanji gets up, catches up with it first for Manchester City. And now Kovacic again. It's given them a lifeline, the goal hasn't it? Yeah. You can see there's a spring in their step. Yeah, much more about that last little move forward, wasn't there? Five live and Radio Manchester from the BBC. Here's Grealish again. Grealish into the penalty area. Then lays it back. Foden with a cross, but that's headed away by Goodell. Back out towards the right-hand side where it's played forward to uh, Sevilla, where Rotary is able to dis- dispossess Jordan. And then Kovacic back to Rodri again. And Rodri, simple pass, short pass to Grealish. Corner of the penalty area, runs across the edge of the box. Rodri, simple again, just a little ball to Foden this time, who's there for Manchester City. Then back to Guardiol, and Guardiol in the white boots as City have possession inside the Sevilla half. I think he could play the game in his slippers, Rodri. <laughs> and I mean, Jordan there. It moving. Jordan there with the challenge. Rodri just shrugged it just off. Just keeps it moving. Five, ten yard passes. Great positional sense. Always his head on the swivel. Now he'll take it on the back foot. He's got the option of the kanji or the diagonal to Cole Palmer never waste a pass 1-1 the score a kanji now to the right hand side to Palmer no immediate sign of Manchester City changes now that they've got the equaliser kanji back to Rodri again Manchester City who beat Sevilla quite comfortably twice last season but that was in the difficult spell of the season in the Champions League group in the first half of the campaign Guardiola's low ball into the edge of the area that's cleared away Foden touch back to Haaland now Grealish on the left hand side again in the full back position right footed ball in curling it to the back post but headed down and away by Acuna and then Ocampos will run it away but he's, he's lost it I don't know if he stood on it Palmer Palmer beats Acuna curls it but Bono diving to his right had a good sight of it to his right and pushes it away wide of goal for a corner but excellent play from Palmer yeah he won the ball back and then he's dropped the shoulder and now he was bearing down on the 18-yard box. The ball was slightly trapped between his feet. He was trying to dig it out and aim for the top left-hand corner. To finish that, we've seen him do that before. It was just trapped. It just it's a difficult skill once it was sort of stuck between his feet. Here's the corner, taken short. Foden to Grealish. And then Grealish back to Palmer again. It's chipped in this time, but that was uh, misplaced and bounces through. We'll forgive him that, perhaps after uh, his very good headed equaliser and that last little excellent piece of play where he sent Acuna sliding in the wrong direction. So we will finally now see the first substitution of the match as Juan Luis Sanchez is coming on, uh, but also I think we'll have a drinks break now. So the uh, who is it who's coming off? Oliver Torres from the midfield. So that's an interesting one, we'll have to see where he goes. Juan Lu, Juan Lu Sanchez, who uh, still in the early stages of his career, academy player, and as I say, really a right back or a centre back. So the number 26 will uh, will come on for Sevilla. And while the players are taking drinks here, the official drinks break, we'll cross back to the studio and see what Neil Lennon's got to say about this. Well, it's a cracking game, John. I have to say, and uh, it's a bit cruel on Sevilla at the minute because. You know, for 20 minutes to the second half, they're outstanding, and like you guys touched on, you know, they could have been two or three up, and then City, being City, find something, find a bit of quality to get themselves back into the game, which they haven't really deserved, and now the game's finally poised again, but it's a fascinating watch. I think Sevilla have been terrific tonight, and City have had the 
really dig deep to get that equaliser. Cole Palmer had still a lot to do with the header and he's placed it in beautifully. But it was totally against the, the run of play, John, in terms of chances. So it's going to be an interesting last 20 minutes or so. Yeah, thank you, Neil. More on, from Neil Lennon with Mark Chapman at the end of this match on Five Live. And uh, players just ending their drinks break now and getting back into position here in the, uh, in the heat of Athens. In the official programme tonight, the president of the Hellenic Football Federation said this is the, the country which gave birth to democracy, philosophy, theatre, poetry and the Olympic Games. And, uh, and tonight I'm bringing Five Lives Fact of the Day to this great city. And that was last Friday, the first fact of the day of the season on drive that Moises Caicedo, uh, when he was growing up in Ecuador, his nickname was the Octopus. Uh, so that for Five Lives Fact of the Day, the first of the season, which was correctly picked out by yours truly. So the defending champion off to a sparkling start and you can hear the next thrilling instalment this Friday afternoon. Manchester City won, Sevilla won. And I think we're ready now. That was a lengthy one, wasn't it? That drink break done, but I'm not surprised. No, I've seen the replay as well, and it was um, Marcus Acuna, the left-back for Sevilla, that switched off when Rodri put the cross in, and he just allowed Cole Palmer to drift off the back of him. They've still not brought Wang Lu on. He's got his bib back on. In fact, he's been announced as coming on, but here he is, he's just putting the bib on, off the field. So we've, we've not had the change yet. And he's... <laughs> He's put the bib now on. Now on. he's been told, now he's take the on. bib off, Wan Lu. What have you put that back on for? Unless a player had a knock. Yeah, that and someone that'll might have recovered. It. That'll be it. So 1-1. One, one. Could be penalties. Sevilla have got a brilliant record at penalties, incidentally. They've, been in, they've won six out of the seven penalty shootouts they've been involved in in European competitions, most recently in Budapest in the final. I wonder if they'll bring on Montiel to, to take one. Here is Palmer. Palmer on the right. Palmer getting away from Acuna now. Taking it on at speed into the penalty area on the right-hand side. But Acuna did well, actually. He managed to, to get back next to him and was able just to nip it away from Cole Palmer. And then uh, Ocampos. There's a little bit of a reaction there from Ocampos on Rodri, who was away with the ball. And then Foden shoots, but he was under pressure. Good hell clears it away rather awkwardly on the edge of his own box and then uh, the Campos can't keep it in against the Kanji and it's a throw into Manchester City and they are now going to make the change so finally Wanlu is going to come on and it is Oliver Torres who's coming off so that's the second the, the board actually went up and he didn't come off the field previously so uh, Oliver Torres is off and Wanlu just waiting to come on Sevilla really ruining those chances that En Naziri should have scored 49th minute, 51st minute, 64th minute and the, and the third of them just after Manchester City had equalised so uh, the teenager Wang Lu is on and City have a throw on the right with Walker Kyle Walker goes back towards Rodri near the halfway line and then to Ake Gvardiol now, the Croatian World Cup player. Gvardiol, who's straight into the into the theme of socks, three quarters of the way down his calves. Gvardiol, then squared towards Walker. Palmer's available on the right. He's pulled away right towards the white line, and now he receives it. Palmer then back in field towards Walker, and the exchange passes again. Harland waits on the edge of the penalty area. Kanji square to the left hand side to Ake his hair bobbing Gvardiol again here's Rodri substantial figure of Rodri just gets the foot under the ball and swings it out to Palmer Palmer against Acuna Acuna watching it closely Palmer gets away it just opens up there he went for goal but in that moment he was closed down and it was blocked away but it comes and back ball. to Palmer well, what 25 yards out referee allows play to continue Ake out to Grealish again, Grealish just stops the ball with the top of his foot, two men on him, back to Gvardiol, Gvardiol low into the edge of the penalty area, Kovacic with a touch, but that's volleyed away by Jesus Navas, high into a central area, and then headed forward into the box by Rodri, but harmlessly so, and goalkeeper Bono has got it. I think you can tell with a little bit more development how good Cole Palmer's actually going to be, he's playing well in this game, he's got a trick, he's got good balance. I'd like to 
most times I've seen him, you know, and it's still just been glimpses with the injuries that he had last season. It was a bit of talk, wasn't it, that he might go out on loan this season, but I, I just fancy that um, Guardiola will be will have greater plans for him, and in fact he's effectively said that. But uh, here he is starting this big game and having scored in it, but City coming forward, Foden's ball from the left-hand side, Goodell was under it because Haaland was just behind him and he just got his head to it. Still City, Guardiol now lays the ball into the space down the left-hand side, Foden cuts it back, head is, heads away by a, a defender and then comes out to Guardiol who swings a leg at it, but two men were there to close it down and block it away and it comes back from Manchester City again to, to take up possession. That was another example there, Don, of what you're saying about Gvardiol being very quickly into the swing of things. That was like a... He was very much the Manchester City pass, that, wasn't it? Yeah, he's, he's grown into the game. He's, he showed real quality when he's got the ball. Now he's got the confidence because he's stepping higher up the pitch. City, the ball, middle of the Sevilla half. Rodri to Akanji. And then through the middle to Kovacic, Palmer short pass to Kovacic infield towards Walker now as the challenge comes in on him he was still able to just to turn his body and give it to Kovacic who passes it to the left hand side Guardiol back into the area lovely turn in the box by Foden defenders in there and one of them has just got a touch back to Bono who passed it away across his penalty area but the clearance has just landed possession back with Manchester City Ake Nathan Ake down the left Here's Grealish again, at pace this time, Grealish coming in field, three players converge on him and he does have the ball taken away from him and Sevilla being pushed right back at the moment. That's exactly what I was going to say, for the first time in the match now, Sevilla under pressure, they can't get hold of the ball, when they do they're giving it away, City have looked a yard sharper in territory now, City are all over Sevilla in the top end of the pitch. Kovacic just pulls away, turns in field, challenge came in from the campus, looking a little tired now I must say, Walker forward towards Kovacic, now to the right hand side, Setia cranking it up here, Palmer's left footed ball in towards the back post with Grealish arriving, defender was just in there, here's just Navas I think it might have been, who stayed down. And, uh, and City taking up possession again it is Jesus Navas but he's just climbed back to his feet City still in possession they've uh, just kept possession while Navas was making his way back into his right back role crossfield pass is just headed back to Acuna who might be caught in possession inside the box he's given it away he's given it to Haaland Kovacic in the area back to Haaland he's shot blocked towards the edge of the penalty area defenders throwing themselves in front of the Haaland shot now, Walker on the right, Walker's low ball across, deflected right across the edge of the six-yard box. And the Manchester City supporters down that end wondering how this hasn't ended up in the net yet. Grealish, he takes it on, defenders there to block it behind. Ah, oh, there were screams everywhere in front of us, the severe fans panicking big time. City pushing, Carl Walker delivered across, across the six-yard box and it took a couple of ricochets, it could have landed anywhere. <laughs> Bono just got a touch on it. So it is a, a corner to Manchester City. Out on the left-hand side, Haaland had his opportunities. He's just um, he's just untying and tying up that long blonde hair again. I think one. Uh, Hayes never sorry, he's got to touch a cramp. Okay. Fatigue starting to set in. Yeah. Well, he just he did take a bang, didn't he, in that in that last uh, period of play? Here's the corner then for Manchester City, but that's headed away. Rakitic was underneath it for Sevilla. And the ball runs to the halfway line. Just over 10 minutes to play. We are, we are in the 80th minute now, and it's 1-1. Sevilla taking the lead in the first half through the end of Zieri header, but Cole Palmer equalising in the 63rd with his also well-judged header. Grealish tries a shot from out on the left-hand side, but straight at Bono, who is able to just pat it down and pick it up on the bounce. Yeah, it wasn't a bad hit from Grealish. He got loads of power. Better goalkeeper though, didn't punch it, just took it in his stride there, the keeper. Don't often see that from Grealish, do you, to actually to do that, which is just a little different. Went for goal from there. Well, I think out of the two wide players of Man City, I think Cole Palmer's been very, very good, because he looks more effective. Dropping the shoulder, putting lots of crosses in the box. Well, I think Jack tonight, Jack Grealish tonight's looked a little bit predictable. Yeah, when Palmer has had it, he's looked full of energy and the pace has just been slower hasn't it when he's, he's been Grealish and he's also mixed his game up yeah. being a left footer he's put some you know good crosses in with his left foot but then he's kept the defender Acuna guessing because sometimes he goes on the outside on his right foot 
Manchester City 1, Sevilla 1. Balls played out from the back. And uh, Sevilla are going to make their second change. And it is Montiel who's preparing to come on with the possibility of penalties approaching. The penalty expert. A Campos though is. Sevilla come forward, swings over the cross, and it was actually Juan Lu who was in there, but City were able to get it away. Bounces back out. Here's us Navas with the cross. It was actually blocked by the outstretched leg of, Guard, of uh, Grealish. And then an overhead kick from Foden to, uh, to clear the danger further away. Rakitic now down the right hand side. Sevilla have got Enneziri in the middle. Here's the cross. Well, Campos was arriving as well, but Walker crucially got his head to that. Campos thought he was in there Acuna with a cross that's dangerous and Naziri jumps he didn't get there and now here's this Navas in comes another one that's headed up in the air by Akanji suddenly it's Manchester City who are really being tested here with balls coming in from both flanks and in the end it's rolled out for a throw on the far side well that's got to give you a massive lift the Sevilla fans applaud in the efforts the last couple of minutes from Sevilla and that has to be the way forward for them when they get the ball wide don't be shy in putting crosses in the box there's lots of height in there with Campos and, and Naziri. Sounded like the QPR Norwich game was going to penalties, but Aaron Paul? It's not, it's all over. QPR nil. Norwich won a goal at the death for the visitors who pushed and pushed and in the eight minutes have added on time. Ball in from the right, there was Jonathan Rowe and the back stick to head past Joe Walsh in the R's goal. Norwich heading to round two to face Bristol City just. QPR nil. Norwich won full time. Thank you, Aaron. It's Jesus Navas who is going off and Gonzalo Montiel comes on to replace him the, the World Cup winner the unlikely hero after the, the World Cup final dominated by Messi and Mbappe but ultimately decided by Gonzalo Montiel the man who went on to score also the winning penalty in the Europa League final for Jose Luis Mendilibar's Sevilla so Montiel is on and if we do have a penalty shootout I think we can write him in for number five Don yeah. so to throw in for Sevilla and with this scoreline of 1-1 that's what we'll have in about 10 minutes or so a penalty shootout under the dark skies of Athens down here in, in Piraeus actually the port of Athens Sevilla take this throw and then back towards the halfway line certainly wouldn't rule out the possibility of a goal deciding it though here that they've been chances are plenty in the second half now at both ends Alvarez is going to come on that's going to be the first change that Pep Guardiola is making here tonight another Argentine World Cup winner Sevilla attacking towards the end where their supporters are and here's Jesus Navas the ever popular Jesus Navas being applauded around by all of the Sevilla family and friends as he makes his way back to the dugout the former Manchester City man and he is limping as well but uh, his team Sevilla with a Campos, right footed cross, and Naziri's after it. Edison comes a long way in amongst the crowd of players, gets it out. He actually gets it out to Jordan. Oh. And then uh, misplaced pass, crossfield by Acuna, straight out of play for a throw. Kicks it out for a throw in. But I think they've took heart severe from the last couple of minutes by just getting the ball wide and putting crosses in the box. And here's the change, first change for Manchester City. And it's the goal scorer, the City goal scorer, Cole Palmer. And Alvarez, on he comes. Did score against Sevilla in the Champions League last season in those group matches. And uh, actually, you know, when you think of it, he got 17 goals in all competitions. Alvarez, without ever really being a regular starter. That was a very promising first season. Yeah, so a little switch in tactics. Now, Phil Foden's come over to the right-hand side for Man City. Grealish is obviously staying wide left and Alvarez now playing as a partner for Haaland yeah we've seen this as well haven't we it's another of the many many variations that Manchester City can play Sevilla Scarves being twirled underneath us Sevilla Los Hispalenenses which is uh, from the, the ancient name of Hispolis the ancient name of Seville and uh, Rafa Mia is going to be the next man to come on the centre forward for Sevilla so Mendelibar bringing on a forward probably with a thought to penalties as well penalty taker Rafa Mia and uh, Manchester City coming forward trying to 
snuff out the prospect of penalties by winning the game in regulation time Walker to Grealish now Gvardiol Gvardiol angles it back and the shot from Rodri hits a defender inside the penalty area comes back out to Gvardiol Kovacic Kovacic slips the ball to Foden right side of the box Foden all action arm swinging is actually forced further out of the penalty area by Acampos who, who does not let him rest on the ball puts in a strong challenge bounces out of play been given as a throw into Sevilla which Foden's not very happy about and there's a man down on the edge of the penalty area as well I think it should have been a Man City throw but it was good work from Acampos so Rafa Mears coming on and Suso as well who is a little surprisingly left out of the starting lineup tonight although there has been talk of him moving on from Sevilla as well Suso who, who uh, remember was a, a youngster at Liverpool and now there is um, one of the players has gone down with cramp on the edge of the penalty area. Is that Jordan? I think it is. And, uh, and so they're just delaying this substitution. Well, they see how Jordan is. So no changes yet. The two Sevilla players still waiting to come on. Manchester City 1, Sevilla 1 is the score. And we're into the last three minutes now of the 90. Walker, just down in front of us, doesn't keep the ball in. So it's a throw in to Sevilla just down in front of the the dugout coach Mendilibar is just walking out of his technical area to speak to the two substitutes and the throw-in is going to be taken by Acuna so still no change yet Rakitic who's now got the captain's armband on after his as Navas went off out to the right-hand side now to Juan Lu Guardiol puts in a strong challenge on him leaves him on the ground headed forward from Rodri Kovacic then to Alvarez Alvarez now Grealish receives it on the left wing Grealish lovely balance still going the ball rolling at his feet and then he curls a low ball back to Rodri he has Kovacic just outside the D back to Rodri Champions League final winning goal scorer to Grealish and Grealish whips it in but that's headed down and away by Bade City again in possession Guardiol and Ake Nathan Aki went looked to his right. We're in the 89th minute now. Still poised at 1-1. Rodri goes to the left-hand side. City facing the possibility of being involved in a penalty shootout for the second time in three matches after the Community Shield. Guardiol then right-footed all the way across from Rodri to Foden. Two men on him. Foden back to Walker. Walker clips it in over the top of Haaland. Defender got his head to it comes out to Grealish he's in the fullback position soon he'll be in the box though Grealish which he is now and then Gvardiol is there low ball across Kovacic with a shot but that was weakly hit miss hit and Goodell was able to get it away on the edge of the box and then there is a foul for Manchester City and a yellow card for uh, the teenager they for one the substitute on. they can't get the subs on I'm not sure the um, numbers board's working so Sevilla can't make the two changes so has anybody got a pen and paper? <laughs> Do you think the heat's got into it? <laughs> uh, well, if they are going to make these changes, I mean, the fourth official is hanging around with the... He's, the already, he's already swapped one of them. Fingers? It's the second one. No, it's the second numbers board that he swapped. Oh, he's he's got a spare one. Yeah, yeah look, spare look, one. look. It's the Super Cup done. Of course we've got a spare. Yeah, but which one's working? Look, he's got two. two. We've got two now. And... Uh, they're just having a go to see if they can get the numbers up on this board. No, no, nope, no. Batteries. Free kick then. Folded oh. into the back post and Ake arrives. Full length diving head out down into the ground. It bounced up and Bono pushed it over the top for a corner. He should score. He should score there, Nathan Ake. Yes, he's under a little bit of pressure, which makes him panic slightly, but he's sort of just level with the post maybe a yard outside the post City pushing here corner taken short and then finds its way to Grealish Grealish shoots that's blocked on the edge of the penalty area four minutes of added time are being played and after that if there are no further goals it'll be a penalty shootout to decide this Super Cup and, uh, and still Sevilla haven't been able to get these two substitutes on Foden Foden forward towards Laporte Actually, this could be significant, you know, because there are forward players, Suso and Rafa Mir, who, who 
Seville will want on the field for a penalty shootout. Well, in hindsight, I mean, the players wouldn't know it on the pitch, but if you kept the ball for the next three or four minutes and yeah. don't allow the players on, you might have an advantage. Well, a little bit like Italy and England, remember, in the Euro final at Wembley. Here's Rodri. Rodri going out to the left-hand side. And then uh, Kovacic. Manchester City trying to find a way through for a late winner. Remember how they were denied against Arsenal at Wembley in the Community Shield. Well, we're in added time now, and Walker goes for goal from 25 yards plus, dipping over the crossbar. Just flicked the roof of the netting on the way over the top, and it's a goal kick. And Sevilla players have gone down two, two of them with cramp. And uh, and we will now see the changes. Lamella so Lamella off. is off, so no penalties for Lamella. And Suso. Suso coming on to replace him and end the Ziri substitution for Sevilla number 15 Yusuf end the Ziri so the man who scored the opening goal but has missed two three good chances in the second half the uh, the centre forward is not required for the penalty shootout and Rafa Mia is going to come on to replace him the number nine who scored against Manchester City in the Champions League last season. So that's Ben Dillibar potentially prepping for penalties, bringing Suso on. Yep. Technician from the penalty spot. Yep. So, two changes made. And, and Pep Guardiola still just made the one change in these stiflingly hot temperatures. Newcastle to play at the Etihad on Saturday night. But just the one change. But that's not unusual for Pep Guardiola not to uh, to make many substitutions, as you probably know. Walker in quite firmly on a campos, who's thrown himself down, and this is rather like the Europa League final of last season. It's happened it's right in front of the dugout, and all of the substitutes and coaching staff are up off their feet, running to the edge of the technical area in the referee's line of sight. That weren't great from the Sevilla bench. About five or six players on the bench, all asking for that imaginary yellow card. Mm wasn't even a bad tackle from Carl Walker it was just a foul no. well Roma were terrible in that Europa League final but Sevilla weren't that far behind them I didn't think free kick Rakitic to take still 1-1 five live and Radio Manchester live from the Olympiacos Stadium as Manchester City win a free kick a Campos certainly been involved in the second half was all over Foden who went tumbling over and it's a free kick and uh, well done um, Nicky we've got 30 seconds left if that before we'll have a penalty shootout to decide who wins the Super Cup City played out from the back so there is time for one more attack perhaps Guardiol back to Edison he'll have to hit it long just trying to think not sure Haaland has actually had a clear chance to score I in the match I would love to see a touch map of Erlen Haaland tonight how many touches he's had and where have they been Ball bounces out on the halfway line. I think that is going to be it. We've had over four minutes now. We did have substitutes, didn't we, and added time. So maybe another 30 seconds to play. Walker, the uh, the severe bench are wearing their arms. They want the final whistle to go. They want the penalty shootout. But City still coming forward with Rodri. Rodri approaching the D, playing it to his left to Gvardiol. Gvardiol works it back. Alvarez couldn't find a way through on the edge of the box. And that's it. There we are, 1-1, one, one. Manchester City, heavy favourites, strong favourites, the Champions League winners, the treble winners, to beat Sevilla, who finished 12th in La Liga last season, but it's finished 1-1, one, one. Don Hutchison. Well, surprisingly, all the Sevilla family right below us are celebrating like they've won it, so they might fancy themselves for penalties here. And fair enough, scoreline? No, I think Sevilla carved out enough chances to win the game. I think Edison's been the busier two goalkeepers, I think possession-wise, and the way City played in the last 20 minutes, half an hour, they were so much better, but they could have been two or three down. Very good, so a penalty shootout to follow, after it finished Manchester City 1, Sevilla 1 here. Right, so here we are in the warmth and the heat of Athens on this still night, beautiful night, certainly for watching football. Penalty shootout now to decide the 2023 Super Cup and it is at Manchester City's end the end closest to their supporters Bono who might be off to Saudi Arabia after this might have a starring role to play 
the man in black, the Moroccan World Cup goalkeeper, who uh, is useful. And it's Haaland first for Manchester City, left-footed, low, sends Bono the wrong way, and it's 1-0 to Manchester City in the shooter. Very, very good penalty for a man that's not really seen too much of the ball. He wraps his left foot around it, sends Bono the wrong way. So 1-0 Manchester City, and the first man for Sevilla is Acampo, Lucas Acampos, who uh, is just walking forward, number five on his back, golden number five, taking his time, that's what they say, don't they, the experts on penalty shootouts, the people who've worked on the mind games, take your time. So Edison, waiting on the line. There are City fans with the lights on and their phones in the stands behind, but... A Campos concentrating on the ball, stepping out to his left and playing it low into the same corner that Haaland scored. Ball in the net and it's 1-1. Yeah, the most important thing when you're taking a penalty under pressure is when you're walking up to the ball, make sure you're decisive and do not change your mind. And that was a very good penalty from a Campos who's played really well tonight. He's deserved that. Yep. Alvarez next for Manchester City. So Haaland has already put the ball in the net. 1-1 after a penalty each and uh, Campos actually still down there and <laughs> celebrating and he actually walks across and shakes hands with Alvarez as he's walking back to the halfway line Alvarez might have scored this before Campos actually gets back to his teammate Alvarez short run up this right footed Bono holds his hands high and Alvarez steps up and drives it high again goalkeeper goes the wrong way to his right and the ball went to the goalkeeper's left 2-1 City oh that is a penalty that is a proper penalty high right top corner Bono had no chance well that jinxing it for Man City I get the feeling Edison's more capable than Bono in the back of the net I think he looks like he could make a save it's interesting one this I'm not sure Rafa Mir will have touched the ball having come on as a substitute in added time and he's going to take the second penalty for Sevilla standing on the edge of the area standing up tall and up he comes and oh. that's an excellent penalty again Edison goes to his right but the ball high to the other side into the top corner and it's 2-2 but well, Alvarez times two because that was a better penalty and that was right in the top corner you can't save those now one of the big summer signings for Manchester City from Chelsea Matteo Kovacic lots of experience the number eight walking forward briskly receiving the ball and placing it on the spot so 2-2 two, two in the penalty shootout after it finished 1-1 this is 5 Live and Radio Manchester drama unfolding Kovacic right footed penalty again up he comes and he goes down into the bottom left corner as he looks at it and again the goalkeeper goes the wrong way went the other way this time Bono 3-2 Manchester City well the unwritten rule when you're taking a penalty if you hit the side net and goalkeeper's got zero chance even if he goes the right way if you hit the side net and especially into the bottom left you're always going to score the goalkeeper's can't get there and Bono went the wrong way well this man had to be taking one didn't he Sevilla's number 10 took over the captain's armband during the match Ivan Rakitic the great Rakitic of Croatia and uh, he also very very coolly taking his time here it's almost in slow motion Rakitic, this to make it 3-3 in the penalty shooter. Edison, lots of movement on the line, arm movement. Rakitic right footed, high above the dive of Edison to his right, but the ball in the net, and it's 3-3, and just a little punch of the air from Rakitic. Well, they're more or less copying Man City's penalties, because again, when Kovacic put it into the side net, and Rakitic has done exactly the same thing. Superb penalty. Grealish up next. So Jack Grealish now with the uh, the next set piece for Manchester City. The man who celebrated the treble with great gusto. Edison has actually handed him the, the ball. He just wipes a couple of pieces of debris off the toes of his white boots and then backs away. Jack Grealish, hair swept back. Jack Grealish against Bono. Grealish just moves away slowly to his left and then comes up very slowly and then goes down the middle and scores and that's 4-3 Manchester City yeah his mind was made up even though he went on a straight run up and then bent his run I think his mind was made up he was going down the middle 
Well, bit of a surprise. Montiel is going to take the fourth penalty. The penalty expert, Gonzalo Montiel. Also recently arrived in the match here tonight. Well, he did miss, remember, the initial penalty at the end of the Europa League final shootout. Hit the crossbar with it. But then it had to be retaken because the goalkeeper was off his line. So Montiel wipes his hands on his red shorts and he comes up the Argentine and that's an excellent penalty. Sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. And a little jump and a punch of the air. Job done again by Montiel. The 13-12 could be on. 4-4. <laughs> Carl so Walker next. So it's now sudden death. We've still, we're still in the five penalties each, but all eight have been scored, so it's now sudden death and it's Kyle Walker. So the captain on the night. Kyle Walker. All of his experience. 33 years old now. Places the ball on the spot. Bono just backs away and takes his position on the line. Kyle Walker waits with his hands on his hips. So the right-footed penalty from the right back. Up he comes and strikes it. Oh, oh just under the end in. Lucky Bono man. and it's 5-4 but that was a near thing lucky man he went bottom left and he didn't hit it in the corner goalkeeper actually dived a little bit sort of too far and it went under the keeper City get lucky 5-4 in the shootout Goodell up next and the central defender Goodell the this rugged Serbian has to score this otherwise it's Manchester City's trophy and the pressure now is piled on the Sevilla number six, who backs away to the edge of the area. Edison, again, the arms waving. It's like an aeroplane-style movement. Little steps from Goodell, and it oh! hits the bar! Goodell misses, Sevilla miss, and Manchester City win the penalty shootout here in Athens. And they've got the UEFA Super Cup for the first time and on the old run the treble has been followed up with another European trophy here and they are making the most of this Manchester City dancing a huge group together and there we have it 5-4 on penalties I mean he's very very unlucky Goodell with a penalty he's gone for the top right hand corner and he's hit the crossbar and you feel for anyone that misses the decisive pen but they've been a very, very good opposition tonight, Sevilla. They've played their part in a fantastic game. And City, somehow, have got over the line. Sevilla, for the sixth consecutive time in this match, lose in the Super Cup match. And Manchester City have another new trophy. Champions League for the first time at the end of last season. Now the Super Cup for the first time at the start of this. And the celebrations for Manchester City. They love winning trophies, and they've got another one.